You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Well, you ain't got a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Oh, yeah! I thank you all. On with the unboxing. Yes, folks, I am sad and pathetic. You don't need to comment below to tell me that. But I've lived 21 years on this earth, <clears throat> give or take a couple of months, and uh, I know what I'm like. I'm an absolute Fruit Loop. But a Fruit Loop that's quite happy to have a Henry Hound. Which is why I've donned my blue suede shoes and it gave me an excuse to do a terrible Elvis impression. Right, we're not interested in Elvis. We're not interested in my blue suede shoes. We're interested in the Henry Hound. So let's unbox it. For those of you who have just tuned in to see my socks, don't worry, I will be flashing them later in the video. And of course, they will match Henry Hound perfectly. But for the time being, I'll keep my uh, blue suede shoes on. Now this, I was qu quite pleased to get one of these. I've wanted one of these for quite a while. I've had one in the past and sold it. I bought it actually from the very last index catalog in the UK. It was in there and I got it cheap. So this was on eBay and it's a 110 volt model and I wouldn't have considered it had I not got my 240 volt to 120 volt converter. So this I think is meant for an, the American market. So I don't know why it was available from a UK seller. It has, I've had a quick sneak peek. I wanted to check the sort of plug it had on but I've not opened it. I had a feel in the box earlier. It has been out of the box by the looks of it. So the first thing that's coming out is, and this is what makes the Henry Hound different to the regular Henry or even Henry Extra, is the turbo electric head. Now they did a Henry turbo, much the same as this, but it was red, the regular red Henry color, and it was just called Henry turbo. But this is the turbo electric head. And it's got um, quite soft brushes, but quite a wide air path. So even sort of picking up larger debris, I think this would be quite good at. It's only a 25 watt motor and it's a 24 volt power head. Now, when I first got my Henry Hound before this one, I thought the nozzle here was broken because you can hardly hear it above the noise of the cleaner. It's so, so quiet. So here it is, it's got four wheels. There's no height adjustment on this um, head. There's a bit of a squeegee at the back. And you can actually take the brush roll out on this one. This is this red bit, oops, up. There we are. So it comes out for easy cleaning and pops back in like that. So there we go, let's see. So this is an electric head, as I said. And, uh, hmm. oh yes, there it is. Just wondering, it does connect up. You just can't quite see, but there are two prongs inside that. Now this bag has been opened. I don't think this cleaner's been used. Nice dusting brush. No, it's not a soft toy. Daisy's eyeing that up. She'll have that if I'm not careful. Here, furniture nozzle. The brush attachment, of course, it slides onto the furniture nozzle. Crevice tool and this attachment, which I can't remember what it's for. Um, well, I think, yes, I think that is for using standard heads on the electric um, tubes. Because that'll fit that. This does, and it should, come with a regular carpet and floor nozzle as well as the turbo electric nozzle. And to use that, you do need this little adapter because it has quite a different um, setup regarding the hose and the wands, which of course I will show you in a moment. So here is, oh, yeah, it's a little bit dusty. Needs a bit of a wipe. Here's the regular carpet and floor nozzle. So as you can see, it's quite different this end to uh, the standard one you'd get with a Henry or Hetty. Well, this is the old style. It's the old style with the metal base plate. 
I think it's the German German made one as well as far as I know I'm not sure but anyway there it is that's that now this is one of the tubes so it looks plastic but it is a painted metal although the ends are plastic now what I'm a bit disappointed with when I had my sneak peek now this model comes with the regular sized extension wand and the short one but pictured on the box and in the eBay listing it showed two long ones when I first bought my Henry Hound it did come with the short and the long and I th it to me it was a little bit short when I was using it so I did purchase another long one but it was even back then several years ago it was about 30 odd pounds just for that but it uh, looks like I'll have to do the same thing with this machine but they clip together in a nice locking system until you press the button so obviously these are power tubes these contain the electrical cable to power the nozzle and uh, next out we've got the hose it's a nice length of hose so here's the hand piece again this is very very different to the regular Oh, do I need to iron this shirt? I was in, I was in that much of a rush to uh, <laughs> video this. I've not even done my buttons up and my shirt is creased. But then, you know, the king of rock wouldn't have worn a shirt that was... Oh, we probably would have had an ironed shirt, wouldn't he? But Priscilla would have ironed it for him, I expect. There's no one to iron my shirts for me. This is why I don't do it. Hang on. Icky thump. Right. Sorry about that, folks. So this has got um, suction regulator, just a, a vent, which, uh, oh, there we go. Another button to release the tube. And here we've got an on off switch, but that doesn't turn the machine on and off, sadly. That just turns the brush roll in the power head on and off, the motor in the power head. So that controls that. And on the other end, again, it's a bit different because of course, this is a power hose. I don't really know why. Hopefully Pneumatic might decide to introduce another Henry with an electric head, but maybe they'll um, slightly change the tool setup. This has got the little uh, two-pronged sort of connector that plugs into a socket on the machine itself. And unlike the regular Henrys where you have to screw the hose in several turns this is more like the bayonet fitting that you'd get with the George it's also got a nice seal there to keep the suction in I think this might be a 1200 11 or 1200 watt motor this now this is an older model apart from the fact that it's got a higher wattage motor it's got these I haven't seen these for ages it seems like um, they're probably you know it's probably not that long since pneumatic introduced their fleecy bags but i can't you know these is what they used to have they were still a quality paper bag you've got a nice sort of seal there that partly closes it when you remove it from the machine but you've also got this little flap that you can close over as well but um no it's unlikely when i do a demo of this i won't be using these bags i'll keep those i'll use the newer bags i think i'm not sure oh yes it does where where's that gone don't know where the instructions I have seen them now I've just got a little guarantee thing there oh here they are they've fallen they've fallen down now pneumatic cleaners are available under the NACE care brand I think that's the company that sort of import pneumatics if you're watching this in the USA or possibly Canada you can buy pneumatic cleaners I've seen them on Amazon but um, sometimes you can get them under the pneumatic brand or otherwise they'll be the same but branded NACE care this actually has NACE care printed on the box oh back back to the very basics look at that with these sort of cartoon drawings the old style of pneumatic instructions and these to do their brochures and leaflets using this type of illustration as well I see on there it does actually show the short tube I'm sure on the box it showed the uh, long tube mm, so it says 
Well, it says 1200 watt motor on that. We'll have to look at the um, label on the machine. Right, where's the handle? Here it is. Let's check there's nothing else in the box. Yeah, this has come from um, a company, they sell on eBay, but I think they're like, they supply commercial cleaning products. Oh dearie me. Well, it's a um, little bit, uh, a little bit dirty that. I think, a mm, little bit disappointing, it will polish up. Hmm. I think this, um, I'm surprised at this though, I didn't think it would have one of these, I knew it would have, again why do American plugs, the prongs always bend, oh, that's why I like the British plugs, you don't get uh, prongs that bend on a British plug, um, so I'm surprised it's got this kind of cable, it's unusual, but that will fit into my adapter, so this is 110 120 volt machine so even if I was to cut that off put a British plug on it won't work okay I'll just polish this up before I open it hopefully it's not been used okay then I've given Henry a bit of a wipe and a polish and it seems to have improved his looks somewhat I think this has just been on display somewhere because it was just dust it hasn't been used I've had a well I think it hasn't I've had a quick peek inside so let's have a look at it it's got a single speed switch on this and I'm not sure if the Henry Hound I had had a two speed motor. It might have done. Comment below if you know. I can't remember. I have a feeling the domestic Henry Hound I bought in the UK didn't have this switch. This is the older style single pole switch. Um, and as you can see, now I think this, because of the thickness and the colour of this cable, this was always intended for the American commercial market. This wasn't designed to be sold to the US, US of A um, as a domestic cleaner. I think this was sold to cleaning companies. Hence, the, it is a much, much thicker cable. It might be hard to see how much thicker it is on camera compared to a domestic one. And of course, we can see the colour but it goes quite well, I think, with the green, the yellow and green. Not sure if it's still 10 metres, because it um, will take up more room inside being thick. <laughs> wow, there is a lot of cable. There is a lo it still probably is 10 metre cable. There is a lot of cable here, look. Look at that. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at the, uh, the old rating sticker. So it's uh, 120 volts, as we know, 60 hertz, 1200 watt max. Pneumatic International Limited, Shard, England. This is model HHR200. Now, can we date this, folks? It's 07111-6312. Input with electric nozzle, 950 watts, 9 amps. And it's got some symbol which I don't know what that means. Is that SA? Not sure. That could be some um, safety approvals board that you need to um, have things approved in the USA. I'm not sure. And just here below the switch, we've got a Made in England sticker and we've got NACECARE Solutions Toronto. Oh, it's Canada. It's Canadian company, not uh, American. So, info at nacecare.com. Just one more thing to point out before I take Henry Hound's head off is the um, twin exhaust vents. Now, I can't recall the original one I had having twin ones. I thought it had a single one. It might have done. I can't remember. It's all a blur nowadays. Anyway, I'm sure the pneumatic experts, if you could tell me below, is this the normal vent for the Henry Hound or the earlier um, Henry's having one that side and one that side just seems different to me but it might not be I'm not sure right let's open him up and have a look underneath uh, oh there is a date wheel no 
Well, this date wheel says 90. Is this from 1990? Can this be this old? Uh, oh, it's pointing to nine. Month nine, 90. Um, wow. So it's a little bit different, isn't it? They've redesigned the later Henrys. have a somewhat of an oval shape underneath. And that's the sort of old traditional shape. Here we have the filter. Ah, yes, is this? I think this is the odour reducing filter too, I think. It feels a bit different. It says do not wash on it. But you're not supposed to wash any of the filters, I don't think. I think this is the odour reducing filter. What I always do when I'm using a Henry. Um, if I was use one, using one for a long, long period, because they do start to smell with all the dirt in the bags, especially if you've got pets. I used to slide in one of the Hoover air fresheners just under here and it used to emit a lovely smell. It used to smell like a Hoover turbo power but it looked like a Henry. It was very odd. So there we go. I'm going to go and fetch actually. I'll do a quick demo of the power head in this vid. Let me just see if they've used it. No, it is, it is spotless. I'm going to um, pop in one of the new HEPA flow bags. It'll improve matters slightly I think. This should have good airflow though. Right, well, <laughs> now the bucket says 07. So the bucket's from 07 and the top is from 09. So obviously, unless pneumatic have a time machine, it has to be from probably 2009 perhaps. But anyway, so yeah, that's the standard, standard bin, isn't it? Right, I'll just go upstairs, fetch a HEPA flow bag and we'll connect everything together and fingers crossed it works. I thought it would be interesting to compare the bags. Look how much bigger the HEPA flow bag is compared to the old fashioned paper bag. I mean, wow, it's such a difference. So that's the paper bag all opened out. Obviously the um, the HEPA bag doesn't sort of have sides. It won't go into a, a sort of oblong shape like the paper one. They might hold a similar amount, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I much, much prefer these type of bags. The uh, HEPA flows. Right. Now it does go right inside up. I unboxed a Charles recently and I, it, it seemed to fit better with the right inside down. Um, the bag but anyway because the Charles is taller isn't it so there we go on goes the, the filter and we can pop Henry's hat on or head whatever you want to call it let's try and line up the wording Henry Hound is that, that's about correct there we are Okay, before I connect the hose and everything, I've plugged it into my voltage converter. So, let's hope he works. Yes, he certainly does. That's good. Now you can buy, Pneumatic do sell Henry's and other commercial cleaners with 110 volt motors to use on building sites. Um, for extra safety, uh, builders use power tools and machines like this on a lower voltage and they have to have a converter similar to the black box I have in the background there but they normally have this big yellow box and they have these very big clunky uh, plugs that sort of push in and I, th I don't know if they screw in or whatever. But um, had this had one of those plugs on I just would have bought an adapter for that or a box that would take that sort of plug. But um, I was glad to see on the listing it actually had the two pin um, American or Canadian plug. So let's uh, pop the hose in. Da -da -da. Hang on, which way? Oh, that's it. That's it. With that at the top. And then we need to pop in. Perhaps I should uh, I'll just turn it off just in case while I plug that in. There we are. So that's connected the power up through the hose. Now another thing I love about um, the Henry Hound is the fact I can just fit 
if I don't want to use the power hose, if I'm not cleaning carpets and I want something a bit lighter and more maneuverable, I can just screw in a regular Henry hose. So this will take all the regular pneumatic attachments that would fit a normal Henry. So you've got the best of both worlds. You've got the power head for the cleaning of carpets, but when you want the more flexible, like when you're cleaning the car, um, it's ideal for that. And I've just bought one of those extra long five meter hoses, which are ideal for stair and car cleaning. I can use that with this. Right, before we connect it to the tubes, I'm just going to see, just check that the older electric nozzle works. Let's turn it back on at the box. It's all fine and dandy. It sounds, I think, as it should sound. I know there's some pneumatic uh, fans who, who basically collect mainly pneumatics on uh, YouTube, and they'll they'll have their preferences, and they might sound, oh, that sounds more like a classic Henry, because they can tell, you know, they can tell the sounds of different Henrys. Now I'm going to pop on the ones. So yeah, that's just a little bit disappointing. It didn't have the longer one. But as I said, I probably will buy it because for me, I always remember it feeling a little bit short. But I think the Henry Turbo version of this, the red one, did come with two long tubes. So that goes into there. Look, it all clicks together nicely. I'm going to stand that. Uh, it's not. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not a deal breaker, I suppose. Oh, I'm really, really pleased to have one of these again. Really pleased. Let's just move that out the way. I mean, I would have preferred, obviously, to have got the proper UK version. And you can still get them on eBay, but they're pretty battered. The ones I've seen. This is the next best thing, at least I have the adapter to use it. I wonder if the, I don't think it will, I'm just seeing if the turbo brush will work with the motor off, the main suction motor. No, it doesn't. Right, let's give it another go. <laughs> Probably the quietest power head vacuum I've used. The turbo electric head is so so quiet you can hear it but it's I think the noise is mainly the brush I can hear on the carpet the motor in it is very very quiet and I suppose it's because it's like a 12 volt motor um, it's only 25 watts that's powering the brush it's certainly an improvement on an, a turbo nozzle that uses the air from the vacuum to drive the brush. An electric nozzle is always better. I can't say it's going to be as good as perhaps one of the Miele powerheads or even the Sebo ET1, but um, certainly compared to the regular suction only Henry, this will perform very well. Well, I've put down rather a lot of mess for Henry Hound. I've even left some of the bigger clumps just to see how the turbo electric head copes with it. Okay, let's just go through the middle of this carnage and see if we can restore some order. Not bad for a first attempt, Henry. Your first time on camera. It isn't perfect though, because I can see still some dirty sort of marks on here. Another couple of passes and it might cope. I did go slow, but it did seem to pick up all those big clumps. 
Right, I better pick up the rest of this. Well, I'm really pleased with Henry Hound, even those big clumps he managed to gobble up. I'm just going to have a look actually to see the state of the turbo electric head. wonder how clean the brushes are after all that mess. Are they all clogged up? Well, obviously I've got a bit of dust here, look. But look at the brush. That brush after a bit of a wipe down, is pretty clean, isn't it? But it's because, as I said earlier, look how wide that is. I'm not surprised really that it picked up all those big clumps. Now, a lot of vacuum cleaners, and, and especially sort of a, a canister or cylinder vacuum with an air-powered turbo brush would not cope with that. It would soon clog, and especially the air turbines inside, those big clumps would just stop it pretty quickly. But you see, it's quite a wide intake there, right in the centre. After I've given that a wipe over with a wet, wet wipe, it'll be fine. Obviously, this is designed, this particular one anyway, was designed to use in a commercial environment. And, you know, cleaners on the whole don't really tend to treat the vacuums they're using with much care and respect often because it's not theirs they don't they haven't paid for it but a lot of people don't even look after their own vacuums do they but i think uh, the old henry hound could certainly cope with another big mess test that was sort of a mini big mess but uh, i think one day i'll really go to town with this machine and do all my living room like the other big mess tests i've done because i think Henry Hound will cope very well. I'll be looking at this in a little bit more detail, but hopefully, hopefully that's given you a bit of an overview, enough to keep you going anyway. And I'll see how Henry Hound works using the regular nozzle as well. But all in all, yeah, I'm really pleased I got this. If you're after anything in life, I know we're talking about vacuums on this channel, but in my experience, if you wish and you hope for it and you're, you're very good, normally things come your way. I've always found that to be the case. This is gonna be a bit stiff, I found it was. With this extra thick cable. What I did notice though, because the cable was slightly coiled up, it was all out of the cleaner, but it was slightly coiled. Uh, it was starting to get a bit warm because it was sort of bundled like this. You should never really use any vacuum that's got any sort of cord rewind. You shouldn't really use it for a long period of time with the, co with the cable coiled, because when the cable is coiled like that and electricity passes through it, it can get warm. And eventually it possibly 
could catch fire. So for safety's sake, always pull out the cord to its fullest extent. Most of the vacuum cleaner instruction books I've read over the years do say that. Pull it out to the, to the fullest extent. Some say pull it out to the desired length, but most recommend that you pull out all the cord. But there we go. So another pneumatic cleaner. Yes, they look very similar, I grant you. But this one obviously has the extra special bonus of this very effective and very quiet turbo electric head. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about Henry Hound, please ask below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So until then, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.